James, how do you tell how bright lights like these are? So you stare directly into the light and you count how many seconds you can stare directly at it yeah. and then times it by a thousand. So if you can last 10 seconds, it's 10,000 10, lumens. lumens. Really? If you can only go six Because someone seconds, told us that those are each 100,000 lumens. Yeah, so if you can go 100 seconds, they're 100,000 lumens. <laughs> I feel like the math works backwards on that deal. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Fun YouTube channel. So now that we've got these gigantic poles in the ground, Doug here is gonna show us what we got wiring wise. Yep. Get these puppies dialed in. So we uh, we made it a little bit easier for you. The old poles had fuses at the top. I know, that was kind of a pain. You had to get the genie out every time. E every time. Oh, not to mention all the wiring is internal inside the pole. So there is nothing on the outside of the pole running up to the fixture on the top. It's all ran internally, which I really like. We made this so it was easy to maintain yep everything's plastic so it's not going to code on you it's so simple it is so each line has its own fuse you unscrew it there's your fuse wow you just pull it out and replace yeah. fuses as needed to be you shouldn't wait have so any. is this all that's running up to the top that's it it's just these small conductors we so. didn't have to run the big dogs all the way up anymore we did not so <laughs> the, the old light fixtures that used to draw crazy. 1500 watts a piece yep. um these only draw 950 but we're only running four lights per pole the max we're going to draw out here is way less way yeah it's way way less i really so. like how it's all so simple i yep. mean and it goes right into the pole anyone there. could figure that out yeah <laughs> super clean too man it just looks it looks like it's meant to be yeah. so that just runs right into the center of the pole and then up the core to that box which we're going to jump on that genie lift and go up to that box and show you what we got up we go 50 feet all right there's our upper box pretty cool how the wedges each have their own mirror so instead of all that light just blasting up into the sky they have that mirror over the top of them that can angle that usable light downward versus kind of wasting it or screws and you're you're in there that's it don't use a drill on it yeah it doesn't look like it needs it yeah you just, just twist them out that's so easy <laughs> we like simple yeah there it is it's pretty easy yep. even mcfarlane wiring could fix that <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nice, dude. Yep, and, and that's those, the wires coming out of the bowl. You know, those wires just run each up to the back of the wedge. Dude, it literally could not be more simple. <laughs> Do you think we're going to eventually have to come up here and tighten these? Or? No. I no, think no. they'll hold. The pole's tapered. Oh, yeah, true. So even if these were loosened at all, it, it's going to catch yeah. itself. Interesting. Um, but no, we, we torque wrenched all these down, and oh. they're they're not going anywhere. They're locked in for a lot. They are. There's the mirror. <laughs> that's so freaking cool, man. So each one of these had its own little mirror on it. Shove your light downwards versus upwards. It's really easy to turn. Oh yeah, look at that. Down, position them. Yeah. But so. we'll come out at night and position them and make sure that they're yeah, you on only the got, track and not in your face across the way. Yeah, you only have 56 to position. Yeah. Yeah. Well, plus the 12 for the burnout pads. Ah, piece Four, of cake. 14. 14 for the burnout pad. You only got 70 lights to come out here and adjust. Piece of cake. Yeah. Take you 10 minutes. Yeah, we were talking about aiming them up in the sky just to see what we could see from like if we can see it from 75. Yeah, I was gonna text my astronaut buddy and see if he could see it. All right, dude, well, that's a wrap. Yeah, man. Let's uh, we'll come back here later tonight and see how they look. All right, that's it. They're on. Dude, they're super bright. Isn't huh? that really nice? <laughs> I like the yellow tint. Yeah, I thought these were LEDs. Yeah, pay-per-view is gonna be great with that. Light. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dougie, are we ready to to burn some light here, Let's dude? Do it, man. You ready? Let's turn so we're, this on. So just so hold on, hold on. Everyone knows this is just four of the 18 poles, 14 of the 56 oval lights, and then we have how many? 14 more. So those for, are the wedge. So we have uh, 14 ovals coming. Yeah, and those are just for the burnout pad, pretty much. Yeah. But they'll kind of light the whole track up. Jade, you you getting ready over there? Yeah, dude. I'll be right here in the dark. Okay. So 14 of the 56 wedge lights. This is the first test. We did. We checked that they turn on earlier during the daylight, but this will be the first rip. It, you know, it takes like 10 minutes for them to warm up, all right? <laughs> Not anymore, brother LED. Anymore. Which uh, which one is it? Back straight? Back straight. Let it rip, dude. Ooh. Fire me. <laughs> dude. Holy Toledo. This is four? This is four, brother. 
Oh my gosh, look at how good the grass looks. And they're not even aimed yet too, you gotta remember that. Those ones are probably aimed all the way at the bleachers over there. Freaking A. Dude, 56 of these is gonna be a, possibly a problem for the neighboring <laughs> <laughs> cities. Oh man. All right, we gotta go out on the burnout pad. Gotta go see it from the, it from the source. Dude, they have a lot of, uh, they have a lot of like, uh, peripheral light too, which is nice. Yeah. Light up the bleachers without having to have lights for the bleachers. That is sick. And then we have to adjust the visors eventually too. All right, let's go out on the pad, guys. Dude, look at that. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm like, really, I'm like, my shop's five miles away. I don't know if this is gonna go all the way to my shop or yeah, what. This is turn nuts. your lights off at night. Yeah. Light up the whole town. <laughs> Fire me up, brother. Wow. Yes. This is, like, this is some stadium <laughs> level stuff right here, boy. They were already brighter than all your before. <laughs> I know. No more dark spots on the pay-per-views. It's not going to be the same. <laughs> we're actually going to look like a true light. I know. Like real, real... Woo! Hell yeah. Are they going to go up and aim some? So guys, there's actually the visors that we talked about earlier on each pole can be aimed over to block the shearing light. So you can see like that one on the end has the visor down. That's like maybe just one that's tested. But so a lot of this glare will actually go away because of those visors. Hold on. We got to go the distance. Hey dog, this has got to be the same level of light over here. And these lights aren't even for over here. Like this is what the old track lights put off. And now it's from this side. Now that side is lighting up this side and that side. Holy crap. A couple of those are pointed like straight up in the air too. That's insane, dude. Yes. Finally turned the corner of spending a ton of money and then having something to be happy about and seeing this is huge. Makes me feel good that we made the right decision. The best part is they're not even aimed yet. Yeah. I think better. I think the can what is the candle height? The candlelight reading? Yeah. yeah, I think that is what it was before. That's probably about as good as we had it before. And that would have been from those lights. The lights on that side are actually designed to light that side. <laughs> Although you do you do get some that extends over. Now that side's insanely bright. Dude, it actually reaches over. On. Like, all these I know. Open. Yeah, dude, there's five over here and five more over there and then four more over there that are all off. <laughs> dude, still got three more to put in. it's going to be bright as hell when we get this done. Your light's on again. Oh, you yeah. Do, you oh, what do we got here? We're at 32. 32. Yeah. Just right here. Just right here. <laughs> we get closer. Dude, that was like our goal was to hit 30, 30 yeah. on the track and we're 30 out here. So there's a whole set of 12 lights just for the burnout pad that aren't even here yet. And we're hitting 30 on the burnout pad. 45, 45 46. <laughs> Jesus. So, yeah, we might have over dialed the lighting just a smidge. At least we didn't under deliver. You can't overdo it. The crazy thing is, dude, we could actually, I mean, it's a little sketch, but we could probably host a drift night with just four lights <laughs> and it would be about as good as before that's freaking awesome man good job dude Appreciate it. gotta be excited about that six months of planning it just everything felt yeah perfect. dude central florida electrician dude yeah, coming just, in clutch <laughs> oh my god some could even say this is lit <laughs> all right we gotta go get the gate shot we gotta see from the gate because i bet it's pretty spicy is he gonna be here to let it leave it on right yeah now? They're gonna aim them all. The other side, then the yeah. other side, it's gonna be. No, the lights over here are for this straightaway. Yeah. Even though you would think they shoot across, they're just supposed to be for this side. So you can see how well lit this is. It just and it's like getting that much. It's it's a nice natural oval, so it kind of all reflects to each other. So now we're back on the other side. See how dark it is. Let me back back over. Cause it just doesn't put in perspective until we came over this hill and I literally can't see anything go back into the track <laughs> it's so freaking bright you can see everything i love that dude it's so well lit 
with just four poles. And you come over the hill and back to sheer darkness. All right, so look at Dude, that look one. Look at that tree look line. Look at the light look. that snuck through to the tree line. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, we're on the whole other side of the track. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Looks like they got one of the poles visored down now, but with the the three exposed. Still insane. It looks like a stadium. It literally looks like a stadium. It's putting off more light than the moon. <laughs> Fire me up. So next video, we should have the whole place lit minus the burnout pad lights, right? Yeah, those are coming later. A couple months. Yep, a couple months. End of July, early August, maybe we'll have the, the burnout pad lights. Trying to figure out how we can get like, you know, a, a CM up in the sky for you. Ah, a bald eagle light. Oh yeah, aimed up in the sky. <laughs> I mean, dude, I'm I'm telling you, once those are on, and those like this is gonna be way more well lit than before. Just the burnout pad, so good, man, so good. All right, well, I'm ending that video off, guys. That's four light poles lit up at the Freedom Factory with the new lighting system. Much more to come. Shout out to Doug for making it happen. Freaking killing it. Till we get back and check it out, then that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Do it for Dale. We'll freaking see you later.